Hello, happy YouTubers. This is Marcelina, and Greg is here with me. Subtubers. <laughs> So, what are we going to talk about today? Oh, another exciting <laughs> chapter it makes me jump with joy. I can't even contain myself. I think today we're doing what causes citrus what causes leaves, citrus leaves to leaves. curl. Can I do it to you? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I am really sure to it is. So, we are going to cover about uh, concern about leaves problems and uh, why, what causes uh, the citrus leaves to curl, to curl or to turn yellow and basically he said there are only two but I added another points which is five causes and we're going to discuss this one it's one of this uh, cause and explain why and also how are you going to fix it well so number one the, is drought drought is the first one mm -hmm. uh, we get this question asked a lot on our channel. My citrus leaves are curling, what's causing it? And most people overwater their citrus, but in this case, the leaf curling, first thing you wanna look at is check your soil. Use a, a meter to check your moisture to see how much water is deep in the root. Sometimes you can stick your finger in the pot and it might feel like it's moist on top, but down deep it's dry. However, your citrus plants do have a lot of surface roots, so uh, that would be the first thing to take a look at is the soil moisture and using a probe that can get down there deep to see what the moisture is deep in your container or in the ground. But moisture would be the first thing. You want to water your citrus plant once a week, but you want to soak it really good once a week. Don't water it any more than that unless it's out in the extreme heat all day long and then you might have to water it twice, but no more than that. Yeah, so <clears throat> during drought, uh, drought, like a period of dryness in the soil, if it is too long, the plants are going to respond to that. And during those uh, period of spill, so the roots is going to uh, increase that root absorption in the water from the soil, and also closing the stomata to avoid too much loss of the water that is over what, there. What is a stomata for, the, for those uh, that don't know out there what that stomata is? is the organ that the opening organ that is found on the you know, underside of the leaf. Underside of the leaves. So if That's it is if the there gases. is not enough water so the plant will compensate com compensate by closing the leaves so it doesn't you know lose that water. Yeah but here I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but if you have a plant that is going through um, extreme, you just let me pick a leaf off of here. We don't need all these leaves. Mm -hmm. Here's your your citrus leaf, and if you're getting the curling like That's this in your wide, leaf, upward. Yeah, curling upwards like this. What your leaf, your plant is trying to do is trying to conserve moisture in the plant. And by doing this, it gives the leaf a smaller profile so the mm -hmm. sun isn't drying the plant out. So this is a protective measure that the plant is using when the leaf is curling like this. Now the second reason that can also be is from pests. So and what would happen to the leaf? The leaf, well, a lot of times you see a leaf is all curled up like this. And you open it up inside and you see a little ovi sac or you see some spider webbing. And you'll see a bug inside of there. And you crush it and kill that bug, and you know, you get rid of it for that one, but you need to treat your plant with some mm -hmm. type of a pesticide if you see Mealy bugs, especially mealy bugs. Mealy bugs are horrible, horrible insects on your, your, your plants. And what the mealy bug will be on the bottom side of the leaf. Very mm -hmm. rarely do they uh, on the get on the top. They usually are always on the back. And you won't even notice it until the leaf is curling up and it's ready to fall off. And you mm -hmm. look at the bottom leaf and say, oh my God, the thing is just covered with, mm -hmm. with ovi sacs and mealy bugs and just get rid of that, throw it away, don't even try to save the leaf. Get rid mm -hmm. of it as fast as you can. Cut it and ditch it. So, so <clears throat> that is the reason why you have the leaves from drought, pest, so and good. also diseases. Now, no. how, how do plant respond to disease? Why it curls if they have a disease? Pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'd be curled up too. 
So most mostly fungal disease like botrytis or uh, blights. So it's a it's a response of the plant to for to protect further damage. And uh, actually, you notice it, the, the leaves cannot be saved once it is infected. Like uh, if you have a fungus going on, you just remove it. So fungus, you will notice the leaves will can. turn yellow and curl and drop off prematurely. So that is another causes why your leaves turning uh, yellow and also turning curl. And, and also, drop. if you have a plant that has a disease or pest, separate that plant. Mm -hmm. From the other ones, you don't want to have it close because insects will jump from one plant to the next as well as fungus if there's, especially mm -hmm. if there's wind blowing or if there's a lot of rain. Mm -hmm. So isolate it, put it in uh, isolation. At least mm -hmm. as far as you can, you know. And fungus is there, you just have to control it. Fungus is probably one of the easier ones to control. Copper, copper side or neem oil or mm -hmm. Aztec. Aztec, 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 Aztec is great. Plus will work really well on fungus. I've actually taken the uh, Azatec Plus and sprayed it on mushrooms that were growing in the compost that we had put at the base of our citrus plants. That was and, your and first roses. experiment, right? Yeah, and roses. And the first time that I realized how well this stuff works as a fungicide. And I sprayed the mushrooms. Has the yeah. Next morning I came out. Oh, there's one of your buddies. Oh, the ant. You yeah. have to feel that ant. Yeah, you got away. Ants are the ones that transport aphids and mealybugs. But I took some of this and I sprayed it on a big bunch of mushrooms growing on wood chips. Next morning it came out and they were dissolved. They were completely mm -hmm. all gone. This stuff really killed it. Really killed the Really fungus. well, yeah. You killed the mushrooms. Yeah. Killed the mushrooms. <laughs> so that's you. another one is a fungus disease also uh, causing the curling and turning yellow and dropping off prematurely. The other one is nutrient deficiency, which is you see the here's, curling, the curling of the leaves. Here's a nutrient deficiency Meyer lemon the plant. The cropping is down, right? We grew it's this, yeah, yeah the, 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 it goes down, it curls down, downward, downward. It curls downward. Curls downward. This is a Meyer lemon, or I'm sorry, a Eureka lemon I grew years ago from a seed. This thing is about 10 years old. No, that is the, the cutting from the seeds you grow. I don't think so. Yeah. But this is predominantly uh, pearlite base with a very little uh, <laughs> potting mix rick in there and this just like there's like no nutrients in there at all I might have to for that. and I, I water this often because it just runs right out really quick mm -hmm. and dries out but you can see it has I've given this thing iron everything this one just won't hold it see this one hold it's it curling the leaves. yeah the leaves are curling down they have the veining going on in there it needs everything it's got new bait new little baby leaves coming up there so it does grow but it grows really slow. So the nutrient, uh, you might ask, like what, what nutrient responsible in curling the leaves? I would say the nutrient is phosphorus. Phosphorus is responsible in the absorption, restoring that uh, water nutrients in the plants by undergoing that photosynthesis. So if your phosphorus is less absorbed by the root, so that would affect the curling of the leaves because the water is drain out from the plant and uh, although plants don't need a lot of phosphorus but it has to have phosphorus absorbed by the roots also for blooming for blooming yeah mm -hmm. so there i mean the issue phosphorus is the nutrient that's responsible in curling the, the leaves mm -hmm. now the other one uh, you can uh, say is the quits and i think that is the most important thing quits is also another reason Number Why? one, number one number reason. reason. Everything. Everything from. starts with pH. Yellowing leaves, curling the leaves, no fruit, no nothing. So yeah. like it's <laughs> kind of like if you're a person and you're dying, and the first thing they doctor that are you eating? <laughs> if you're not eating, you're gonna die, right? Same thing with the plant. If your pH is not correct, you're mm -hmm. gonna die. Mm -hmm. It's gonna die. It cannot absorb the nutrients. I can't overemphasize this enough in all of our videos. And that citrus is a lot of nutrients needed. As you can see, it's greening. <laughs> it's it. greening. You can see the vein needs magnesium. It needs iron, needs magnesium, iron. nitrogen, oh phosphorus. It needs everything. This plant. I have. It's suffering. It, it, it gets enough nutrients to stay alive, but mm -hmm. not enough to prosper. The so I bet the pH that probably is this, too high. I don't know why we've been talking. We've had this thing in here for how many years now? 
in the same container with the same media, and I keep telling you, we need to transplant this doggone thing, and we never do. I think we do that because we really don't like Eureka lemons. They, uh... But, they, at least, you know, we might transfer that, though, because it's struggling right now. So... <laughs> it's struggling, all right. It's struggling. So they have Anybody to want a free Eureka lemon tree? <laughs> Leave it in the comment below. Leave it in the free Eureka. Uh, I mean, you never know. At, look at the difference between that and this citrus you plant. You take care of that all the time. I take care of this. I hit it with the Azatec. I give it with, I give it the, uh, uh, iron. I give it everything. I take care of this plant really iron. well. Just because it sits right here in front of my face every day mm -hmm. while I'm taking care of the fish, you can hear the aquaponic tanks, the waterfalls are constantly running in here. But, so, uh, yeah, that's the pH is another one. How about the temperature changes? Do temperature changes affecting the curling leaves? I think so. If it is if too, it's too cold, hot, if it's too hot, it's, too it's hot or curl. too cold, it curls. Yeah, we don't get too much of the cold because we maintain a, a constant temperature of 70 degrees in the greenhouse in the winter time. In the summertime, I have to turn the exhaust fan and open the doors and roll mm -hmm. the side flaps up to get a nice cross breeze. But we, we take the plants out of the greenhouse in the summertime, we take them outside. I can't wait to get them out of here. Mm -hmm. uh, if it is too hot outside. We've got so many citrus plants in here right now that we can't really do much anything else. <laughs> we're, mm -hmm. we're packed in here. We're just, mm -hmm. we're packed. So. so those are the five causes. Yeah, the drought, expressing drought, uh, pH, nutrients, disease, nutrients, those are the five causes. Now let's look into the solution. So let me ask you a question. Somebody call. Uh, somebody writes you and says, my, my citrus plant, his leaves are curling up. What should I do? Well, I tell them the first thing is check the pH, mm -hmm. okay? Inspect the bottom of your leaves and look to see if you see anything going on. And I'll tell you what, you can see the mealy bugs and you can see the aphids, but the spider mites are the ones that you mm -hmm. really can't see very well. I recommend getting out a magnifying glass and looking underneath there. I have magnifying glass down there. Yeah, and you can usually oh, okay. tell because the leaves start turning kind of a gray color. I have color. magnifying glass. Yeah. See that? I use those for reading. But it, it is good <laughs> if it is 20x, you know. Yeah, you need something powerful enough powerful. to see. Powerful. But the, uh, the spider mites, you'll see little cobwebs going from one leaf to the other a lot of times, but mm -hmm. they are the ones that are the hardest to detect visually. And the uh, Azatec. Azatec Plus will take care of that yeah. for you. Get Azatec if you know, try it and spray with Also, I, I wanted to tell you guys, if you go to our website at cashyourgreens.com, if you go to buy the Azatec Plus, there is a promo code listed in the description below. Click that link and you will get $2 off on your bottle of Azatec Plus. Mm -hmm. Great chance for you to try it. We're selling it at an introductory price. We've had over five years of experimentation of tweaking this product mm -hmm. to make it work good. So the first experiment we did with so the foam Yeah. The first experiment. Yeah. Fungus. And we we originally were using it for for fungus because the greasy spot was we were getting some outside in the in the courtyard out Especially there. Especially roses, roses. Roses, yeah. We use it for roses a lot. Attractants of fungus. You know? And aphids. Especially mm -hmm. where the flower buds are at on your on your uh, plants, aphids so, love the tips. So that your hibiscus. treatment is applying, up, removing, controlling the pests, controlling the ants. Mm -hmm. By uh, you know, you use the diatom in there. I see it. Yes, I take the diatomaceous earth. Um, we and put you it, spread, put it in a spread. little sprinkler and a little. I, I went and bought these little salt shakers, put them to my diatomaceous earth. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle this all around the base of your plant. Try it. And make and sure. Uh, Make sure that your plant are not touching other plants because the ants are the ones that transport a lot of these insects and move them around to different plants. I did yesterday the. Uh, you have to do it often. I would say. Uh, I think the succ succulent succulent is very uh, susceptible to mealybugs, and it was covered with mealybugs. So I removed your jade plant. my jade plants, yeah. and it was it was like the steam of I can tell that the juice was mm -hmm. taken out too much of mealybugs so i remove all the leaves and then spray with azatec and this is a new growth now look at the leaves now it's beautiful yeah, it's a new growth nice. leaves and i applied diatoms yesterday to uh, the, di the diatomaceous earth are like microscopic shards of glass that get underneath the armor plating of your hard 
shelled insects and it gets underneath the soft parts where their legs move and everything mm -hmm. and it cuts them up it kills them so that's how that works mm -hmm. it's so soft that in your hand it feels just like a powder but it's really to them it's like glass mm -hmm. like you walking barefoot on on glass Curling leaves or yellowing leaves is an easy fix. You just have to identify what caused it. Yeah. Now if, if, you're get, if you're getting yellow leaf on your plant though, most likely that leaf that is yellow is not going to turn green again. Mm -hmm. So if it's not turning green, don't become alarmed. What you want to keep your eye out for is when the new leaves start to emerge and pop out, those should be nice and green. Mm -hmm. And then you can remove the yellow leaf. The yellow leaf. Yeah. yeah. So that the treatment, all of that is managing your water. If it is drought, as you mentioned that already that you have to water it. So it was what kind of water are you using? Tap water with chlorine and fluoride <laughs> in it? Or are you using RO water yeah, or yeah. rainwater is the best? Well, not rainwater all. is the right pH. I know. Rainwater is acidic. Tap water why, why is it alkaline. Is acidic? Why water is, uh, rainwater is acidic? Because God made it. Nature. Probably God, the nature of the cloud it. is mixing it. And if, it, if that plant needs to have alkaline, it'll have limestone in, in the, the ground. Soil, in the ground. In the ground, That's and that, nature, will, huh? that will change the pH, and the plants that like that will gravitate to that area. But mm -hmm. rainwater is usually around 5.5, five, 6.2, somewhere in that range. Yeah, so I would, I would recommend during, uh, during like, get if you Get your rain barrels rain and collect barrel. your water. Water your plants with rainwater. Yeah, collect your uh, uh, green barrel. If you can't do that, get your tap water, put it in barrels or buckets. You have let, the tilapia. Yeah, let the, let the chlorine evaporate before you use it. I, we use water, if we're hand watering, we use it right out of the fish tanks because it has fish waste in it, which acts as a fertilizer for the plants. You know what I would like? I would like to have a, a panel where it converts the water into a pure water like oxygenated water that would be expensive huh? so oxygenated water uh, removing that will remove the uh, water metal or something like that like chlorine the chlorine yeah, you can get water purifiers purifier yeah but it would be expensive if you have mm -hmm. a, if you install that in your a lot of your big nurseries have that in their in their system. That's why their plants are awesome because of the yeah. water. Well, that and they fertilize it like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like human, huh? If you drink, if you try to drink water that is strictly hydrogen water, you probably live longer. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Stay on track here with the leaf girl. So manage your watering, guys. Uh, citrus need a lot of water, but they don't like wet. So it has to be moist. And allow allow the soil out. to dry in between watering because you don't want to keep all the time. Uh, Mama, I think we're about done here. I ran out of coffee. So we have a hot and, day. Uh, I can't do videos if I don't have coffee anymore. Okay, I'll give you videos. No, we're so, uh, going to the house and get me some. All right, guys. So <laughs> this is the, the video for now. So don't be alarmed if you have a curling leaves or yellowing leaves. So just it's an easy fix. Easy fix. It's just uh, water uh, properly. Install irrigation or uh, do deep watering. And if your pH is not correct, get Check a soil acidifier. 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 I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Soil acidifier. I'll put a link down below for. I'll put. I'll, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll put a link down below to cure all five things that are causing the leaf curling mm -hmm. and uh, just so go down can, where it says you can correct it. more below or below the description click that and I'll put the links down there most of the stuff is from Amazon but everybody knows where Amazon is but there's so much stuff in there you don't know what to get okay and uh, that's why we put those links in there yeah we get a tiny little commission like maybe mm -hmm. 30 cents uh, if you spend ten dollars you know it's it's not going to make mm -hmm. us rich but you know what? It's uh, it's helpful. It, it, uh, it, it buys my kid his lunches <laughs> the, over the month. Yeah, because he likes to have lunch, good lunch. Yep. <gasps> so thank you guys. Thank you guys. We'll see so, you soon. See you soon. And, and that is a wrap. A piece. A piece. <laughs> Later.